about the night of the riots, exactly where you were and what interaction you had with the prisoners. We've all given statements to the police, to the investigation team. Yes, I know, so it shouldn't be too difficult to recall your movements that night, should it? I did the lock-up checks on B-Wing about 7.30, and I checked all the open areas, that's in here. The cinema, the laundry, then I went to the canteen. Alone? No. Tom Duggan was with me, Russell Morgan, and I think Jensen. Jensen Smith and Mallard. Yes, go on. Had a cup of coffee and a sandwich, then all maybe about half eight, I went to do the VP wing. Where Michael Winchwood was held? Yes. Alone? Yeah, he was segregated. No, were you alone? No, Tom Duggan was with me. This is all in the report book, you know. Yes, I know. Do go on. We checked Winchwood, we had a few threats against him, so we were keeping him under supervision. A few threats? Would you care to elaborate? Well, we always get him with child molesters. Sex offenders, it's part of the norm. I am aware of that. But which prisoners did you know or were aware had made threats against Michael Winchwood? Most of them at some time or other. But on the night in question, two prisoners, Murphy and Jellings, became excessively violent. Do you think they could have had anything to do with Michael Winchwood's death? No, I don't. You and Officer Duggan were instigating lock-up when the fire broke out? Yes. Were all the prisoners locked in their cells? Yes. Including Vernon Black? Yes. Could you ask Officer Duggan to be in my office in, say, ten minutes? Yes, Governor. Mavis, if Officer Duggan is there, can you send him in, please? On the night of the riots, you have stated that all prisoners on the VP wing were locked up when the fire started. Yeah, that's right. On that night, Vernon Black was in the VP wing. Yes, but he's subsequently been transferred to C wing. After the fire? Yes. So he's not a vulnerable prisoner? Not anymore. I think he owed money. They're not all sex offenders. I do know that, Mr Duggan. I'm simply making sure that Vernon Black was, on the night of the fire, locked in his cell. The reason must be obvious. Sorry? Vernon Black is an arsonist. And according to the fire team's findings, the first fire began in the kitchen area of the VP wing. Well, he must have been questioned. Yes, he was. Thank you, Mr Duggan. You're here for five years and you've done... 18 months. Transfer from Leeds. Mm -hmm. Did you prefer it there? Well, it was easier for my mother to see me there. Mm -hmm. Why are you in the VP wing, Mr Black? Well, I owed Murphy a few quid for phone cards. Mm -hmm. I had to wait for a visit before I could pay him back. Have you paid him back now? Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, Mr Black. It's OK. for me, Don. Do you mind if we go to a table? I sit at the bar and it's open surgery. Sure. Oh, 
So, Miss Hewitt, or do I call you Governor? Helen. Thanks so much. Thanks. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Was Michael Winchwood suicidal? I don't know. I've looked over his records, obviously. My predecessor didn't appear to think so, or he would have made a note of it. Is this tuna? Quite possibly. You ever worked in a prison before? No. But you must be aware of our present problems with narcotics. Well, of course I'm aware, but until the government or the Home Office admit that it's a problem. As far as I can ascertain, it's turned a blind eye if it keeps them quiet. Well, not any longer. Any prisoner discovered taking drugs will get an extra 28 days on his sentence, solitary confinement and loss of privileges. Possession and drug trafficking is illegal and mandatory drug tests will become a regular procedure. And I'll have her. You hear me? Listen, all the men are on our side. They try to pin anything on us. We'll start a nice little ride that stiff hey. bitch. Anybody having her and it's me? Case of the Hey, if you hear, we've got a film show. It's that one with Sharon Stone showing it. Burn. Piss off. Go on. Get out of it. Give me a towel. What is? Dugan told us. Hey, O'Keefe. Is he having his heart? On the level, Murphy. Sharon Stone? You lying bastard. Not in person, Murphy. Come on. You've been in here over your time. You having a problem with that? Or are you shitting yourself because Winchwood's parents came here? Ha <laughs> ha! Look, Miss Helen, I'm a doctor. I don't know anything about running a prison and I don't take any sides. I just do my job when I'm called out. And I intend to do my job and rid Barfield of drugs. Well, I'll give you every assistance I can, and you're going to need it. Thanks. Um, listen, excuse maybe... Me. Excuse me. Maybe we could meet again and discuss drug rehabilitation. Sure, you know I am. All you need to do is call. Don't okay for you use the phone. We could arrange for you to meet the local rehab centre's administrator. Oh, yeah. brilliant. And perhaps we could also instigate some sessions inside the prison. And um, if you're free for dinner. I'm on your side, Monsieur. It's Dr. Thomas. So, what do you think of the food here? It's okay. But you work out though, don't you? Do you think you get enough protein? Yeah, I get an extra. You get it brought in? Yeah, we all do. Those that can afford it. Not telling tales. It was even in the papers. You smoke? No. So you're the new governor then? My, my, my. Whose face did you sit on? I didn't hear that. What other perks do you get? On the night of the riot, Mr. Murphy, could you tell me what happened? You were Bull Dyke then. What did you say? You were Dyke. Am I a what? Lesbian. You one, are you? That's why you got the job. Act like a man. You a dyke. The night of the riot, Mr. Murphy, answer the question. Banged up as usual. 
Then the fire started. They unlocked our spurs. Held us over in the quad. That's it. What time were you taken out of lockup? I don't know. My watch stopped. Prisoner 493, Anthony Murphy, became violent and abusive. That was at 8.30, Mr. Murphy, is that correct? I don't know. My watch stopped. <laughs>